Hello everyone. Ziaka like a manje, Mr. Palapala is really going down. President Cyril Ramaphosa has been given 10 days to answer questions relating to the Palapala farm scandal. An independent panel which will determine whether Ramaphosa has a prima facie case to answer on Palapala has allocated the president the time frame between 28 October and 6 November to respond to information and questions received regarding the robbery. In addition, Member of Parliament will be given six days between 22 and 27 October to submit evidence to the independent panel. According to Parliament's announcements tabling in Committee 80C report, the three-person panel started its working on Wednesday and has been given 30 days to complete its work. During this period, the panel will have 10 days from 7 to 17 November to consider all information received, conduct any additional research required, deliberate on the facts and write and finalize the report for the National Assembly Speaker, Nosi Vyema Pisangagula. Furthermore, Parliament has stressed the panel will work under severe time constraints. Non-compliance with the time frame set out above will impact negatively on the timelines for the delivery of the report to the Speaker. Late submissions will not be accepted without prior written consent of chairperson obtained before the expiry of the 6-day period. This is according to the report. The panel is chaired by former Constitutional Court Justice Sandile Ngobo, former Judge Togo Zile Masiba and Advocate Matlape Silo who recently served on the State Capture Commission. The establishment of the panel comes after Mapisan Ngakula accepted a request by the ATM for a Section 89 inquiry to be established against Ramaphosa, who has long denied any criminal conduct. The panel has to make a recommendation on whether sufficient evidence exists to show Ramaphosa committed any of this may lead to the president being subjected to a process that may lead to his removal from the office in terms of section 89 of constitution and rule 129a to q of the national assembly rules meanwhile the hawks have processed at least 41 affidavits regarding the robbery and Public Protector's Office is investigating whether Ramaphosa violated the executive member's ethics code by not reporting the robbery to the police. Well, do you think Ramaphosa will be finally arrested this time around? Share your views. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.